Well, getting a letter in the mail may be a thing uh, of the past for many people, but for those men and women who served and put themselves in harm's way, it can mean the world. Days before the 13th honor flight in Evansville, volunteers spent their Wednesday sifting mail set to be delivered to veterans during Saturday's flight. Eyewitness News Cody Bailey has more on the mail call efforts and what it means to one veteran who keeps giving back. It's unbelievable how many, how much mail we get. I would say it's probably in the neighborhood of five to six thousand pieces of mail. John Bryant with Honor Flight of Southern Indiana says the mail comes from around the tri-state and across the region. Veteran mail was collected in Vandenberg County libraries as well as various businesses, grocery stores and restaurants. We have people that send in 86 envelopes just to distribute to a veteran that they don't even know and never even met. I mean, Vandenberg County is great for that. The tri-state area is great for that. Letters will be distributed to the 86 veterans in two waves. The first during the flight home, which will consist of mail from friends and family. The second following the welcome home parade with letters from area schools and mail from around the region. Army veteran Jim Geyser was on Honor Flight 6 and since that day has not missed a single volunteer opportunity, adding his experience convinced him to keep giving back. The flight meant a lot to me because I, I hadn't really been involved in anything like that. The mail, according to Geyser, is one of the more overwhelming moments of the Honor Flight experience. I never got the chance to read it all on the way home. I put it aside and then when they got off the airplane they gave us another package and uh, it took me about two days to get through all of it. Bryant, a veteran himself, says there is a simple explanation for what brings him back each flight. I've been asked several times, especially by the media, you're a veteran, why do you do it? I said, why wouldn't I? Bryant says the Honor Flight mail call is the ultimate welcome home for veterans, regardless of their military experience. I don't care if they operated a typewriter or operated a tank, they all qualify. In Evansville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News. And Honor Flight of Southern Indiana is still looking for volunteers for their Saturday event. If you would like to help, you can find more information on our website, tristatehomepage.com.